Hey guys, and welcome to Nightmares of the Brave Companion. Uh, usually we play a D&D &D game in uh, Waterdeep, but uh, one of our players, Chris, couldn't make it tonight, so we played a Morkborg one-shot. Uh, we, we played through an adventure called Sepulchre of the Swamp Witch from the uh, Morkborg Heretic book. Um, unfortunately, I had my input switched to the wrong, my audio input switched to the wrong thing, and I didn't notice it until 20 minutes into the recording, so I thought I'd do a quick overview uh, kind of dubbing for a little bit before we get right into the adventure. So um, basically we started out by doing a quick rules overview of Morkborg. It had been a while since we played, but it's a pretty simple game, so that didn't take very long. Then we went over their uh, uh, pregens. They're using the same pregens as they used in the previous adventure. So um, Lee was playing Mani Maniacal Awaits the Knives, the pale one. So we rolled for his uh, power and he got like a fireball. His random fire uh, power was a kind of a fireball spell. Then um, Carl's character is the um, fanged deserter, I think it's called, the one with the teeth. And then uh, Jesse's character is a prophet of the dead gods named Hermot. Um, so then I, uh, I started him off with some uh, boxed text. Um, so here, this is what I read them. You are tired, soaked through from sweat and muck, and still miles from town. The road is nothing but a black track of mud. On either side, it is nothing but fetid swamp. The job was supposed to finally get you some coin, maybe not three-course meal money, but at least mold-free bread money. But the merchant you were hired to escort through the swamp got eaten by a giant toad while he was taking a shit, and now you are trudging back to town, your pockets just as empty as they were when you set out two days ago. Suddenly you notice the unmistakable scent of decay on the air, and you stop, scanning the muck on the side of the road. Just visible in a nearby patch of slimy water is what appears to be a boot. So, of course, they investigated the boot, found out it was attached to a corpse, um... And uh, it was a courier that had been been killed somehow, knife wounds. But uh, uh, Maniacal Awaits the Knives decided to search the body. So I gave Lee a roll on the corpse plundering table. And he ended up rolling a, a pixie with its eyes gouged out and its wings torn off. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he just he decided to eat it, um, which was h hilarious and unexpected. Uh, he also found a letter that kind of described this dead root altar that could grant wishes and kind of gave a general location of it um and so the yeah the group was able to backtrack down the road for a little while find this uh the entrance to this um cave that's supposed to have been um you know a, a, run by a serpent cult of some sort and um yeah so that's kind of where we started that's where i when i realized that my uh, microphone wasn't working and uh, fixed it so yeah sorry about this problem but i hope you will enjoy the uh, the rest of the adventure <laughs> all right so yeah you can backtrack um yes hello, but do hello, i have hello, the urge hello, hello. that has black writing on it this is blasphemous um yeah it's definitely it's definitely you can tell it's definitely like a sorceress words even if you can't can't read it what what is the there's some role that I have to do if I'm Constitution. have the urge to destroy the thing? Yeah, I think it's a presence role of uh, DC twelve uh, presence role. Yeah, DR twelve. So I'm shaking. This... Oh, so I don't go it's, crazy. Yeah, you can choose not to destroy it. Ah, okay. If you'd like to destroy <laughs> it, you can. But... So I, I I hold it out. These this is blasphemous. This is not the word of Eliak. I can snatch it from him, fold it up real quick, and put it away. <laughs> I'll keep it away from you then. Ah, infidels. <laughs> All right, so you're going back to the tree? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so you find the tree easily. Um, there are no corpses on the tree, but there's just like old tattered ropes like it used to be. Like there used to be used as a hanging tree, but... Um, there, are, there aren't any corpses around anymore. Corpses are like high price. I mean, a uh, hot commodity, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you can set out down the road. Uh, I mean, off the road um, it, to the west. And sure enough, after a little while, you come to. Um, you come to a. Uh, a, 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 a you, you go down into the swamp. And you, you find what looks like a stone gate. 
um, that is standing in about five feet of green water. Um, uh, Carl, give me a d6 roll. This reminds you of something. Okay. <laughs> d6. Three. <clears throat> oh, well, uh, so you've actually heard of this uh, uh, root altar thing. And, but, but you heard that if you chant the forbidden words backwards, then this uh, swamp witch will raise from the dead. Um, mm. That you just heard some people talking about that. Uh, and, and suddenly you, this, this reminded you of that for some reason. Huh. You guys want some action? What, the the <laughs> gate in the green water reminded you of a swamp witch? Yeah. <laughs> well, she have food? Maybe. I don't, I don't understand how your mind works, man. I'm very hungry. <laughs> we should bring her out so she'll give us a meal. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. So we don't know what those words mean, but can we like sound says. them out? What could sound go wrong? Backwards? Nothing could go wrong. <laughs> exactly. Hooked on phonics. <laughs> Is the gate like a, you know, just a stone gate we can yeah so as you as you near the gate um, oh. as you near the gate there it, oh wait I need to find a... it's a good thing that swamp is labeled there is <laughs> 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 you see right in front of the wait. gate is a large uh leaf that's floating on the on the top of the swampy water and on top of that leaf is a huge emerald serpent. Uh, and as as you get close, it like rises up off the off of its uh, leaf, and its its eyes like glow this green. Let me see if I, I think I have a picture of it here. Uh, Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah, cool. so it rises up and it says, Greetings, visitors. Hello. All hell, Cobra Commander. <laughs> Are you members of the, the Brotherhood? Of sorts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, does, does sure. the Brotherhood get food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in the Brotherhood. Oh, there is food inside. Yes, delicious in. food. Oh, That's perfect. Yes. You to come in. You must allow me to bite you. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, more amount. Like here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Bites your, uh, bites you, uh, let's see, that's a D2. Um, so roll a, roll a D2. If it, take that many hit points. D2. One hit point. Okay. Um, anyone else? I show my butt cheek right there. <laughs> right on the hammock and the meat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll a d, roll a d two. One. What was that? That that was weird. I I, I put different three D dice. It's a one. <laughs> what about from... you? <laughs> How? No, I'm very weak. I I couldn't take a bite. <laughs> okay. Well, enjoy your time here. And it kind of kind of uh, dives off into the water um so uh rectam and uh, maniacal um everything seems normal for a little bit uh i mean it, it hurts <laughs> it hurts a little bit uh, at first but you know that kind of goes away but then uh suddenly everything turns chromatic and <laughs> um, <I'm> tripping balls <laughs> And like, uh, <laughs> yeah, everything's like kaleidoscopic, kaleidoscopic. 
uh, they you, looking around you like uh, where there was just like dead swampy matter. Now there's like little leaves start popping up and springing up, and uh, there's everything is every, nature just sings to you, and there's just this beauty in the world. Um, the swamp is beautiful. Oh, oh you, it's incredible. You also see colors that you've never seen before. Uh, jail, uh, Dalm, and Ulfire <laughs> are the colors that you now see. <laughs> They're beautiful, beautiful. I'm like waiting in the water by the gate like, oh, this is great. <laughs> to, like, are you guys leave. okay? <laughs> <laughs> the Brotherhood rocks, man. You should join us. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Couldn't possibly take a bite. Well, maybe he'll, we can get some poison. You can drink it. Oh, is that food? No, no, it's not going to be either. I am thirsty. Does the door look any different? The gate look any different? Yeah, as you get as you get closer, it, go, it goes just slides open. Just gotta stumble on in. I want to. I want to explore further. <laughs> this place is awesome. Let me. Oh, I can't do it on this. On the wrong screen here. Brothers! <laughs> <See>? <laughs> And so an, uh, an upward slope leaps, leads to a moist cave. Uh, there's uh, crappy furniture all over the place. And, um, and there's puddles of swamp water around the, around the room. Um, it smells like algae, mold, and burnt bread for some reason. Uh, there are a bunch of guys here. Uh, they are just kind of hanging out. Um, they... Uh, so Jesse, you recognize the kind of crazy look in their eyes that looks just like the kind of look in the other, your your comrades eyes. So they're all kind of drugged out. Um, uh, yeah, they uh, they say, hey, hey, new, new, new guys. Hey. <laughs> ah. Do you have food? Uh, yeah, man, we got food. Uh, let's see. Uh, we, we've got some bread here and some grilled gator. But man, mm. we'd love to share it with you. Here, here you go. Oh my gosh. It's so, oh, thank you so much. I've been so hungry. So Leah and, uh, and Carl, you guys see, um, you guys see sparks in all the puddles and the little puddles that are on the ground. Um, and from the ceiling, there's all these new green leaves that are coming down. Um, and then, uh, so there are only, uh, let's see, there's, there's only the one exit. I don't know if you can see it from there. No. Maybe from there in. No, there's two exits actually. There's uh, this one up here. Where's my? Oh, I must not have the module for the pointer. There's one uh, to the north, uh, and then there's kind of one to the west. Um, but you guys can actually see. Um, you can actually see uh, a shining pathway. Um, over to to your right it's like it has a, it's like glowing with this sort of green light hmm. the guys uh, share some bread bread and gator with you if you if you want to yeah oh thank you thank you the guy that's closest to me I'm gonna look at him like what did you say to me <laughs> huh? what I'm what like getting par man? I'm like a paranoid stoner what? <laughs> you talking behind my back again? Did I uh, say the uh, <laughs> pictures for these guys? 
Hey, man, man, what are you talking about? You're harshing my my buzz here, man. <laughs> What's over there in that in that path to the right? It's our first time here. Oh, that's uh, that's where the uh, that is where. Let me make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Yeah, that's where Uth lives, man. That's his chamber. Uth. Yeah. Who the, who the hell's Uth? Uth is like the boss, man. He's like the he's like the original uh, original uh, member of this group, man. He's cool. OG Does he brother. pay? Does he pay to yeah. do jobs? He pay, man. No, we don't believe in money, dude. That's like a outdated uh, concept. We we he helps us catch these gators though, so we can eat. That's cool. nice. <clears throat> so he's a pretty strong guy. I don't know. I've never arm wrestled him, but probably he like, catches gators. He tells us all about his uh, his visions. Man, that's really cool. Uh, mm. Yeah, you you should join him and and like he can show you how to worship all the you know the serpents and stuff. Man, it's cool. Sweet. So is it like a like a doorway that's lit up? It's just like a that's... passageway. Uh, oh, but. Uh, Jesse, you have no idea what they're talking about. Like, there's obviously no passageway over there. <laughs> what are you guys I'm, looking at? I'm going to wander over there and try to, like, go through it. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, as soon as as soon as soon you step on the path, all of a sudden... Uh, uh, Jesse, what's your character's name? I always forget. I keep forgetting. Hermot, noble Hermot. Yeah, Hermot, you can you can see like it just said, suddenly appears like there is a passageway there. It's not glowing like green light or anything, but there's now you can see that there is a passageway there. It's really strange. Where are you going? We're gonna go check out this boss guy. What? <laughs> he may have better food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe some coins. I don't know. <laughs> my, my buzz is starting to wear a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming my guy has high tolerance. We need, we need, need another bump. <laughs> All right, are you going? You're going in the yeah. chamber. Yeah, we'll go in. Yeah. What's this guy's name? I uh, forgot. Art. Booth. 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 B o t h. Booth. So yeah, they uh, there's dried gators hanging from the ceiling here. Uh, there's drawings of snakes uh, made with bodily fluids on the wall. And, wow! And there's a well used mattress on the floor. Um, yeah. So Uth, let me uh, show you a picture of him. Uh, where is he? Oh, I'm in the wrong. Yeah, he says, oh. welcome. Are you new here? Yes. I'm going to go curl up so, on the mattress. <laughs> so mani Maniacal and Rectam, you see three large snakes slithering upside down on the ceiling. Uh, they're just Whoa. like, they're, it's just like they're just slithering back and forth along the ceiling. Welcome, uh, You've come to worship. What's the deal with those big snakes up there? Uh, they do not wish to be disturbed. Well, I don't want them to disturb me either, but <laughs> <laughs> I only serve I only serve Eliak. Oh no, we're gonna have a religious <laughs> throwdown. <laughs> this is blasphemy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm gonna get on the mattress next to Monaco and just spoon. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> we're like, on the mattress. like oh, <laughs> stared at the snakes. I don't know this Eliak, but I have seen visions of sacred snakes promising eternal happiness after the world's mm. end. We must do our part to spread a message of love and joy. Until then, 
Dude, you must not take many drugs because there are lots of drugs that will make you see shit like that. <laughs> no, it was not just drugs. It was a br- mixing a fungus and swamp water brew with the sacred blood <laughs> venom of a serpent. Uh, so crack. And now, <laughs> now it has taught me of, 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 that I must spread this uh, joy and, and happiness to everyone. And sometimes every three days make small sacrifices to the... <laughs> sometimes every three days. But we don't have to worry about that. So I do some genuine, genuflection in my religion. I'm just like, ah, ah blasphemy. <laughs> what's, what, Carl, brothers. what's your character's name? Rectam. Rectam. I, I, I sit there Rectum? and... and an elbow rectum. I'm like, hey, you think I should fireball the snakes up on the roof? That'd be crazy. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I wonder what that would look like. I wonder what new colors we could find. Um, yeah, you don't, Jesse. You don't know what they're talking about. There are no snakes on the roof. Please. <laughs> We're about to find out. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna cast my power at the snakes on the ceiling. Okay. <laughs> um. what are you guys talking about <laughs> all right so uh yeah so roll roll your power um Some real power well i gotta it says one well that was weird i clicked roll wield power all right well that was a success so what is it, it what does, does the power say it does it hits 1d2 creatures for 1d8 Okay, so yeah, this, so, out of nowhere, uh, Maniacal casts his, his fireball power, and the, the fire just rolls across the ceiling. Uh, doesn't seem to do anything for, uh, to the snakes, uh, but they lunge at you, uh, both of them. Uh, so make a, make a, a DR12 defense roll. Maniacal. Okay, so under violence, I can do defend. Yeah, and it's a <clears throat> twelve. Yep. Dr. Twelve. Yep. Okay, you dodge the first one. Fall off the mattress on the floor. <laughs> so the second one's coming at you, though. So roll, roll it again. I'm still holding on to. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ow! So it, Son of a bitch! It looks like that's a D... <laughs> you're going to roll a D4 for damage. So just roll. go ahead and roll a D4. Let's see what, you're... what in the name of Buck Rogers are these dice? <laughs> They're ridiculous. <laughs> All right, so you take one hit point. This thing, like... It, it, like, it looks like it was going to rip your arm off, but it only does one point of damage. And, uh... Yeah, so... Elliot, no way, not Elliot. I what do I see? Here, man. You, you just like what? see him flipping out, like, and then he's like, <laughs> "Ow, ow, ow, dude, <laughs> dude, what are you doing? It's like a bad trip, man." <laughs> Earth says, "Brothers, you should not have disturbed the rest. The the snakes have vanished, by the way. You'll either come to join us, or you'll come to be our sacrifice. You must make your choice now." Heads so join tells it out. <laughs> oh look, Dell. No. How are you gonna tell? I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I will not follow your false gods. <laughs> then you will die. You need to keep your pets under control, Mister. <laughs> so, how do we do? It? How do we do it? Uh, initiative on this. Uh, I think there's a roll initiative on. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's because I don't have you all on here. Uh, oh yeah, I got roll inif- initiative on my character sheet. Under under the violence, it's like right underneath that main menu in the middle. Let me see. This is individual or party. Oh. It says I'm not part of the current con- 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 combat encounter. Yeah, same. yeah, let me see if I can add you to the combat encounter without 
Oh, okay, here, let me just drag you guys on here for now. I think it's what we did last time. We drug them into the corner or something. Yeah. <clears throat> I actually love these character sheets, they're cool. Mm -hmm. Wait, how do I... Hold on, let me start over. Let me do that. Add you guys. There it is. Well, that's not very good. Add you guys. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, I'm not worried about combat. My character can't die anyways. Funny <laughs> 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 fakes, at least. Yeah. All right. So, likable Hermot, uh, you get to go first. So, my weapon is the sling, I guess. Um, your bear trap. Yeah. Help with the bear trap. It neck. doesn't offer that. It only offers the sling. Hold um, still. That might be. Say <laughs> still. Let me see. That might not be a uh, item. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I have it here. Let me get. I can give it to you. I think. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna. So I can like charge the. Bear trap and throw it at him or something. Oh, you already Sorry. had a bear trap. It's just not. Uh, what does it say? You just like hold it and then just run at him. It does D8, <laughs> yeah, Click so right a snake. <laughs> so it does D eight damage, but he has he's gonna have a chance to spot it. So I'm not sure. Yeah. No, I <laughs> used I, it. I tried to hit him with the sling and I'm too close. So I like I hit it. I swing at him, but it like goes off and hits a wall or something. Yeah, he just kind of goes. Rah, what? I rolled a. I don't know what I rolled, but whatever, it was bad. All right, rectum. Uh, I guess I'll take out my stink sword. Stink and... sword. <laughs> uh, I love so I, that. Okay. Uh, so the, the attack, what is the okay. attack BR? 12? Um, target armor. Let me see. Um, where is he? I'm gonna have to put those in the camera. So he has a gator skin robe that's a D4. So I'll put in one D4. Okay. Uh oh. So that is a miss. Just barely. Do you smell your sword? You come take out. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he uh, he just barely dodges out of the way. Um, all right, so now it is his turn, and he has a jagged spear, um, which he will attack. Um, Rectam, I think, because he was the closest. So make roll make a defense roll. DR twelve. Um, defend DR twelve. Incoming attack, do I put that in? Um what is it what is it asking for? Uh, uh, it says defend DR twelve, modified DR blank, incoming attack, it says one D four. Oh, no, it's a D8. A D8. Okay. Change to D8. Oh, you dodge out of the way. <sighs> nice. All right. Yep. Maniacal. All right. I'm going to go at him with my sickle. And you said it was a attack DR12? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> What I what I put under his target armor? D four. Not sure what that One does. Four. Guess we'll see if you hit. All right, that's a hit. You inflict zero damage. Zero. Though. <laughs> 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 uh, 
So yeah, you hit him, but his gator skin armor just kind of deflects the blow, and he's like, the serpent gods protect me. You shall soon be, you shall soon be uh, sacrificed so was, to them. I was attacking him, you know, in the back, and I stabbed the back, but I didn't get him. And he yelled, "Serpent gods!" I, I, I lean over, and whisper, "Gators are not serpents." <laughs> 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 All right, here, Mott. <laughs> you might be muted, Jesse. I don't think we can hear you. Uh, I will try and hit him with the, the sling once more. That is a hit. Oh, but he rolled four on his armor. <laughs> That's terrible luck. Terrible luck. It's like, yeah, ping right off his armor. I will He's Iron Man. In your sacrifice. Maybe we should all try to grapple. Eliog, protect me. <laughs> Take off his clothes. <laughs> right. 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 I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to bite him. All right. Nice, nice. nice. Oh, you missed. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? What are you doing? I'm still hungry. I'm still <laughs> hungry. <laughs> 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 right. He's definitely gonna swing his spear at you. Got the munchies. Yeah. <laughs> make still a, hungry. Make another defense roll. <laughs> Rect ham. Okay, uh, defend, defend. Oh, oh, no. whatever. Oh, 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 oh my oh, god. god! I'm out. I only had six hit points. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my. You will be now. You will be sacrificed to the to the serpents, gods. <laughs> Uh, so I'm like look at him I'm like maybe we should join your cult (laughs) (laughs) I mean (laughs) so you you, you're gonna fall unconscious for d4 rounds and then you'll have to roll to see uh, what happens to you Um, four 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 rounds (laughs) (laughs) Oh wait, no! You have to roll a, uh, you have to roll a d4, not that one though, to see what happens to you. I guess. Uh, yeah. So roll a d4 and don't roll a four. Okay. Yeah. So uh, roll a d6 now. <laughs> Here we go. I remember this. <laughs> a one. Uh, you have a broken or severed limb. Uh, <laughs> So I'll just say, you know, one of your arms is your, not your not your sword arm, but um, yeah, your arm is 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 oh, broken, okay. not severed. Wow. <clears throat> so now you you can't act for two rounds. All right. Okay. It is maniacal's turn. Oh, I fell to hit him with my fireball. <laughs> that was a miss. He's like, Whoa. "You idiot! You can't hit a barn with the <laughs> you, you whatever that saying is." <laughs> All right, you're <Good Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! Does this take one damage? Become dizzy for an hour? Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait! Did you do you when you fail your power? Do you yeah. something bad happen? I take one damage, become dizzy for an hour, and cannot use powers during that time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, failure That's... means the power doesn't work, and the caster takes D two hit points damage, becomes dizzy for an hour, and cannot use power. <laughs> so you're like, Ugh. oh my <laughs> god! Oh, <that's> so <laughs> yeah. Surrender. He he turns to. Uh, to uh, Jesse, you you surrender. You're 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 obviously outnumbered. I'll give you one more chance to join our, hey, join my cult. It's outnumbered two to one. 
One it was three to one. <laughs> one of you is dizzy and the other is bleeding out over there. Okay. <laughs> he says this after I hit him? Oh, did you hit him? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang. Ow. He actually you, you hit one point hit point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It looked like he just kinda went, eh. Yeah, it didn't that didn't seem to phase him too much. <laughs> okay, we surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we surrender? <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I want to keep teaching a lot. So that's one round, right? You've got one more. All right. I want to keep you two alive. I, I'm, I'm doing all right. I, you know, I won't die. <laughs> I won't this die. has to look at me bad. I'll die. <laughs> all right. He's gonna, he's gonna swing his spear uh, at maniacal. So. What does Dizzy what does Dizzy do? <laughs> it's like drunken warrior. I, I dodge right. better. <laughs> you get better. <laughs> uh, what would that be? Who's Shit. maniacal? That's what I am. Oh, mine doesn't say noble anymore. Now I'm likable. Yeah, I, I, think <laughs> I have that, I have that uh, module thing that drop that adds the names to the characters when I drag them onto the so, oh, oh. Uh, I forgot okay. to turn that off. Um, let's see, what is. Um, you become. I guess. I guess you just. You're just dizzy, so. <laughs> I don't think it has a. I can't find any. Uh, mechanical effect of being dizzy. Um, <laughs> he just can't use his power. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what maybe that's what it means is that you just can't use your power. All so right. just defend dr twelve one d six. Uh, d eight, but yeah. D eight. Well, that sucks. I like the six better. <clears throat> oh, he dodged. <laughs> Stand still! Stand still so I can skewer <laughs> you like an alligator. <clears throat> All right. Um, Maniacal, your turn. This doesn't have to come to blows anymore. Let's let's just calm down. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you would still like to join us, you can help me sacrifice your friend here to the serpent gods. I mean... He's kind of smelly anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you people. Is he, re is he referring to me? No, he's, re he's referring to uh, to uh, Rectam, who's laying on oh, the ground. He's bleeding out. <laughs> is there anything I could do? To, uh, well, we, before we sacrifice him, we got to stabilize him so he doesn't die before the sacrifice. Yes, yes, yes. You can tend to him. All right. All right. Are you... Uh, Still fighting, uh, Jesse, or are you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you people doing? He, he, he doesn't follow the true God. I give, I give him the wink, like, <laughs> yes, we're yeah. joining his cult. Uh, yeah, yeah, he doesn't, <laughs> but okay, but his God's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> you, you you hang out in the cave here a lot. <laughs> put your put your sling and your what what do you have? Meant, what is your a sickle? Your sickle on the uh, on the on the mattress there. Oh yeah, yeah. Patch sure, your friend sure. up. So I, I'm patching him up, and I say, you want me to tie him up too? Um, yes, yes, yes. That's so I, a good I, idea. I tie them up, but I'm, I'm showing them I'm putting slip knots instead of roll knots. <laughs> make a, make, is there an intelligence? What's the what's the intelligence stat? <laughs> oh, well, then I fell. <laughs> uh, actually, I guess it would be more of a dexterity. Uh, so make a uh, agility. Yeah, make an agility. Where do you go even to do that? Uh, you should be able to. Click on, let's see. Oh, there's a, a, is it the second stat? Strength, agility. Yeah, I think I can click that. 
that one right there. <clears throat> I'm not very agile. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a fail. So your slip knot like is is actually. What, well, maybe what? I. I just actually... don't know how to tie tie regular knots, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's a it's not a good knot, but it's not a slip knot either. So he, he should be able to break out, but it's not going to be as easy as you thought. Uh, it looks it looks like a like a you know little kid trying to tie his shoes for the first time. <laughs> I'm dizzy. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, we will now. Let's uh, come back. <laughs> we will take him to the altar, to the serpent gods, uh, in the worship hall. Um, so he takes you. Let's see. He. Uh, let me, uh, find this while we're, while we're walking that way, I'm going to ask him. Have you heard of any like words of power? Or a that you could say at the altar to bring forth the the serpent or something like that. Uh, I've heard rumors that there's a swamp witch buried somewhere in these caverns, uh, but we've never gone further than the garden. Um, it mm. just seemed something was off there, so we came back to this part of the caves. Um, you will enjoy the altar. This is not the. This is just. It's an altar that we've built, but it's beautiful. Oh, it's, oh. beautiful! Nice. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> uh, so it takes you back through. Uh, let me remove you guys from the combat thing here. All right. Can you still see? Yeah. It takes uh. you back in here. These guys are still eating. Uh. They see you, it's like, sacrifice, sacrifice. It's like, yes, <laughs> yes. Continue eating, it's no problem. I will take them and we will get our sacrifice done for these, <clears throat> these three days. <laughs> if they do anything, I can handle them. <laughs> so it takes you down this passageway. Uh, uh oh. I can't seem to... Which way? To the north, northeast or the southwest? Oh, okay. <clears throat> So this area um, is basically the cult bedroom. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's 20 or so mold-covered straw mattresses. Um, and yeah, so there, uh, there's a, a whole bunch of resting cultists uh, just kind of hanging out here. Um, some of them are asleep. Um, Carl, you and Lee both see uh, in one corner there is a large lizard that's uh, just sitting on top of a green pillow. Um, yeah, I'm not fucking around with that one. <laughs> Jesse, you don't cool see, bird you, don't you see got. What you're talking about. You don't <laughs> reach out with my one good hand as I'm like, uh... should grab the lizard. <laughs> It just sort of lazily retreats into the wall and disappears. Oh, uh, Jesse, you can see that what what whatever he's reaching for, uh, it looks like a pouch. Hmm. Uh, All right. So is everyone like as we're coming in here? Or are are these guys like looking at us? Like, could I like kind of look in the pouch or kind of like grab the pouch when they're not looking? Yeah, he doesn't. Uh, the uh, the cult leader doesn't seem to care, and the mo these guys are mostly sleeping. Uh, so yeah, it it is a uh, it is a pouch with two d four times ten silver. So roll two d four and nice. five by ten. <clears throat> that was really rich. Yeah, you guys see him grab the pillow and he like puts it in his in his pocket. five silvers. Uh, yeah, 50 silver. Oh, 50 silver. Wow. <laughs> oh, nothing in this bag here. Uh, looks empty. <laughs> now. My bag. <laughs> Got that moldy pillow and help. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lizard. <laughs> what the flying <laughs> <Lizard. fuck? laughs> So Carl, you have I think it said four hit points, isn't that what it has? Your your 
Oh, you're kind of awake now. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I'm going back with four hit points, yeah. And let me drag the... How big is that snake that we saw outside? That was on the leaf. Uh, I think it was described as large. Uh, a large emerald serpent. Uh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't say any differently than that. But uh, okay. All right, so this is... So there's a grime-covered stone altar, and it's above a 20-foot 20 20 pit full of snakes. Um, the walls and ceilings are covered in dead roots, and there is a, uh, a guy here um, who is uh, feeding the snakes, um, and... Uh, yeah, you you don't you can't quite see what he's feeding them, but uh, like he's, he's like he, throwing stuff like into he, the pit. So he's standing there like on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a, a railing on this pit? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's no. not OSHA compliant. <laughs> so I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna put my arm on his shoulder. Hey man, what you doing down there? Are you you're feeding your snakes? <laughs> Let me show you a picture of him before uh, something. While, happens while he's him. talking, to that guy, I wanna. Talk to the Olaf or Oaf or whatever. Boop, boop, whatever. Yeah, so this guy like turns to you and his what? his tongue has been like sliced into a forked tongue and he's like, mm. Yes, I feed the snakes. The, I thought it was oh, a yeah. snakes. Looks like you uh you you taste things quite intensely. Yes. Yeah. So I'll I'll lean down there. How far is that? I got my hand on his shoulder. Twenty feet. Oh, well, oh, sorry. And I'll accidentally like, <laughs> push, push him over the Whoops. edge. Oh, I'm, I'm going to reach for him like I'm trying to help him. No, I, oh, I'm oh, so oh. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks painful. Before, before we do that, uh, so you, the uh, J- Leon and Carl, you see uh, that there's a giant snake's head with a vertical mouth that sits in the northern wall. Um, it's a yeah it's just this giant snake's head um in the northern wall so yeah okay so you're uh <laughs> the, the cult leader oh. says oh what are you doing oh, <laughs> I, oh, I, I i was looking you down clumsy the old, <laughs> you clumsy old i'm so sorry <laughs> is he gonna be okay oh uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I think he yeah he just falls in and, and the like most of the snakes don't seem to like uh, care too much, but oh, there's man. one uh, there's oh. the one that's kind of big and it just goes <laughs> and, bites him. and he's Holy like ah, yes. <laughs> oh he ah uh, yeah uh, they, um <laughs> so could we like uh, I think you're gonna need a new uh, snake herder. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll apply for that job. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe you did that. That. Uh, uh, at least he died. I'm so happy. sorry. So, uh, are we supposed to stab this guy on the altar? Is yes. That what we do. But, but so put your I friend gotta, on the altar. I gotta warn you. We've worked with him before, and he's a heavy, heavy bleeder. <laughs> And I would hate for you to get your your robes dirty. So, before we kill him, you may want to remove those. What? My? You, you want me to get naked? <laughs> no, no. Well, that, I don't want you to ruin that alligator hide. And we all have seen naked bodies before. I bleed a lot. <laughs> 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 He's a bleeder. Mm. Uh, I mean, <laughs> score everywhere, man. <laughs> make a make a presence roll. <laughs> 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 
both of us or just <laughs> no just like, uh, <laughs> like you know man you're right you know it's better to be to be you know as close to how you were born into this world yes. you're communing yes. with the spirits I yes. think you're right, man. He starts. He starts stripping, totally, totally naked. All right, you put him on the altar. Let's okay. get this over with. Do you want him belly up or belly down? <laughs> but if so, that his blood flows into the pit. Doesn't matter if he's up. Or okay. Right. Head facing that way or this way. <laughs> you're a choice, man. Okay. All right, come show me. <laughs> like, just put him over there. What are you talking about? I want him to get close to the edge of the pit, too. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, come show me. Fumble it around. Is he looking? So, like, you guys are over by the altar. <laughs> yeah. And, like, am I, like, in his field of vision right now? <clears throat> yeah, I was. you're probably, you know, kind of. Maybe around where that six is, and he—I don't think he would. He's already seen you push one one guy. <laughs> he's like, "Man, I gotta start praying." So just hurry up and, and just put him okay. on the altar. Well, I'm I'm setting him on the altar, and while I'm doing that, I'm I'm cutting his bindings. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute! What are you doing? Well, we can't have these filthy bindings. He'll he'll obey me. <laughs> Lay down. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right. All right. Welcome to the splash zone. He's done. <laughs> He's <in the> splash zone. <laughs> he starts chanting, oh, no, 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 no. So great serpent god. <laughs> Take this humble sacrifice so that we may continue to live in <clears throat> harmony and peace. So have his well, eyes closed I want to get him. the bear trap out, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so to help why he's doing that because i see he's getting the bear trap out i'm over there on the altar like doing a tribal dance <laughs> distracting. <laughs> wait what are you doing wait, this is not the time for dancing this is a solemn occasion oh, okay so i solemnly dance <laughs> oh, like this <laughs> That's, that's better, yes. <laughs> More seductively. <laughs> oh. <Yeah>. Uh. <laughs> so if he's so is he is he standing of oh, let's see, the altar's on the upper left, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Is he standing on the lower right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And then like Lee is like distracting him though, so Yeah. I'm like maybe. behind him with the bear trap and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> make it a, put make it, an agility put it like, test to see if you put it like right behind him on the ground right, oh, would you a... put it over his head <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Make> a snap <laughs> oh my me <laughs> ow what are you doing <laughs> what is that is that uh, a bear trap? <laughs> Jewelry. Doesn't it look nice? He's, he's he's giving you a gift. Yeah, it's for you. We heard you all hunt right. gators. You're all going in the pit. He grabs his spear. All right. All right let's, let's roll. Let's roll. Uh, let's all right. I need to drag you guys back on there, huh? Oh. <laughs> We're fighting a naked guy now. That's cool. <laughs> Oh, uh, where is it? There we go. My dog did not like my play acting. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to get the bear, bear trap over his head. <laughs> <laughs> well, I rolled a one. That's what I did last time. Evasive, maniacal waits to die. <laughs> Now I'm compliant. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, here, Mont. 
He has just grabbed his spear, but he, uh, yeah. We got dark in here. I can't see anything about my character. Mm -hmm. Same. Oh, really? Yeah. <clears throat> um, what happened? It didn't do anything. Attack? Did I... Roll. You can still roll doesn't work. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's, yeah. We're, yeah. it's theater of mine anyway, so... Yeah. We're all good. I click attack. I click roll. Nothing happens. Uh oh. Click attack. Click roll. What? Do you have to put in his armor or something? Because <laughs> I don't have any anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He said the splash so. <laughs> it says it says a little dialogue comes up and it says attack DR and target armor one D four and then there's a roll button. I click the roll yeah. button. So it oh. is the Okay, it worked that time. So right. He has no armor. He has no <laughs> armor, so that those two damage would go through. So Oh, okay. Actually hit him this time. The little rock. Like, oh, damn it. Get in this pit. Get in this pit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Praise be Eliak. <laughs> Praise Eliak. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mess. Hey, watch that. Watch what you're doing. Oh. All right. He will. He will attack. Um, uh, here, Mott with the uh, with his spear. Uh, so goodbye, roll a, everyone. <laughs> roll <a> defense. <laughs> uh, oh. Um. Defend. Uh, it says defending DR12, modified DR12, incoming attack 1d6. D8. Yeah, it's a D8 though. <clears throat> oh, lovely. See you guys later. Oh, you gain a free oh, attack. Gain a free attack. <laughs> nice. Nice, dude. All right. So oh, roll. roll a, oh. Roll your attack. Oh, I, I rolled a very good defense. Is yeah, that right? you rolled a 20. You Jason Borden him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but gonna... you missed. By all of just by one. All right, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give that to you. I think he he takes a little bit of damage from that. Go ahead and roll a d4. Let's see how much. <laughs> just a little bit of damage. Ding, ding. Hit him in the elbow. Yeah. All right. Wreck down. Oh, we'll try to slice him with the sword. I'll give you a plus two on this because he wasn't expecting you to. Oh, well. I guess it doesn't <laughs> <No. make sense. laughs> I'll give you a plus two for that three. <laughs> <laughs> Can he get a plus ten? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! I'm alive. Um, I was just faking. Never mind. I'm still dead. <laughs> you, you, maybe you put your sword in the wrong arm, and it was like, ow! ow, ow. <laughs> All right, here, Mike. So quickly, man. Our, our, our party needs some fighting instructions. Yeah, another, another miss. Michael. You can, can you cast spells again now? It's no, it's been an hour, right? Oh, no. Ooh, Let's what is that? What is that? I rolled Critical a crit. Dim. crit. Oh, wow. <laughs> so even if he'd had his armor on, that would have uh, done away with it. So, yeah, that. He's the Reaper. <laughs> yeah, that did us. That's the, for the first time he's like actually hurt. He's like, ah! What? No! 
Where'd you hit him, man? <laughs> he doesn't have any armor on. <laughs> well, since he was swinging at you before our picture, he has kind of bent over a little bit. It's like him at bottom and yes. Got him in the kidney. <laughs> All right, so he is going to attack Maniacal this time. So make a de make a defense roll. Hope you didn't use up your only good roll. I did. Mm -hmm. No, that was a good, that was an easy dodge. Oh, yeah. yep. All right, Rectam. Hit him where I hit him last time. <laughs> All right, the Rectam. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hit. <clears throat> so four points of damage. That is enough to kill him. He goes, <laughs> ah, 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 falls down. You know, our, our our friend over there with one point of, one one hit point may may do good with that um, alligator <coughs> cloak. <laughs> Is this against your religion? I pick it up, kind of shake it off. Mm. <laughs> Sniff it. Mm. Well, doesn't smell as bad as me. <laughs> I'll put it yeah, on. So you can. Uh, <coughs> Let me see if I have a D4 armor uh, thing here. Oh, that's card stacks. That's kind of cool. I didn't notice that. Uh, equipment armor. Is light armor a D4? You need a weapon, too. All you have is that sling. <laughs> I'm a ranged attacker. Armor tears. Oh, no, that's medium armor. Nice. All right. Let me give Hermont medium armor. You might have to equip it. Let's see. Well, if nobody wants a spear, I mean, what what does your sword do, Cam? Hmm? My my sickle does one d four. Uh, it's 1d6. Uh, and that's all I was thinking. I was thinking that. Uh, has a 1 in 6 chance a wounded enemy is smitten with potent, potent sepsis. Dying in, <laughs> dying in 10 minutes. Whoa. If I hit, if I hit you somebody, I roll. You have yet to hit yeah. anybody with it. Yeah. And then actually have to roll the. <laughs> but here, my, you only have that sling, right? And so I didn't know if you wanted to do. Yeah, if you need the spear, it's a pretty nice spear. Because yeah. you don't really have any melee weapons. Oh me? Yeah. Yeah sure. I mean, I can give you my sickle and I can take the spear. Do you want to do that, or you can take the spear? It doesn't matter. If you want to stay ranged, send back up. Uh, I'll take the weaker one because you you're sort of the you're more okay. of a close count close quarters guy. So on with the sickle, a crit, you get two times damage. So I that's think, it's special. Or is that with all of them? I think that might be with all of them. Oh, okay. Sure. All right, let me <laughs> see if I can find... Okay, so I need to take your sickle from Maniacal. Give it to you. Here, Mont. And then I need to find that spear. While we're doing all this, I'm literally licking my wounds. <laughs> Why is there not a spear? All right, let me see. See if there's something else that's a D8 real quick. Uh, yeah, a flail. I'll just give you a flail and we'll say it's a spear. Yeah. I'm sure I broke it somehow and turned it into a flail. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
What is your vampiric furba? Oh, I guess that is something that you're... Your, maybe that's your one of your special abilities. Were you saying this? Uh, in your weapons? Let me, let me pull up a, a character sheet again real quick. I don't see my flail in there yet, by the way. I oh, think you maybe gave, I'm looking at the wrong one. I think you gave it to Chris's character. Is there... More than one maniacal awaits the night. My my twin? No, it's their flail. I had to open and close to see the. Oh, okay, let me do that. Maniacal appear me for me. Me yeah, it's there now. Oh, I actually have a sword in there now. There's the flail. Okay. I don't know what vampiric furby is. Let's see if I can click on the. It says Vampiric Verba heals you as it harms your target. But oh, that uh, that that's one of my pa that's one of my powers. That I got to I got to remove it. Oh, that was one of my one powers because yeah, I see. I see. yeah. So I'll remove that one because I don't have that one anymore. There we go. All right, so you guys see a you guys have a pit of snakes and. Uh, a giant uh, snake head uh, in one corner. Well, I don't, I'm not wanting to go down that pit of snakes. I don't know about y'all. But we it does. Do we all see the giant snake head? No. Uh, no, Hermot does not see the giant snake head. I'm going to just say out loud, I say we check out that giant snakehead. <laughs> what? Where? Over there. Right, it's just a rock. <laughs> I'm going to go over there to the snakehead and like right here and like touch it. <laughs> it says, it telepathically says, Earth has forbidden any cultist from going further. It is too dangerous. Oh. What the hell was that? <laughs> we all hear it, or just me from touching it? Uh, you and and uh, and Rectum both hear it. This rock just told us it was too dangerous to go forward. What? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why are you talking to rocks? I think it's an effect of the the snake bite. Earth. Uh, how did I say his name before? <laughs> He's dead now, anyway. But. Oof. Uth. 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 Uth loves you and cares for you and does not want you to get hurt. He has forbade anyone going further. It is too dangerous. No, no, no. Uth, Uth said we can go. He said he was going to go down and clean the poop out of the snake pit. And <laughs> and then I pushed his body down the snake pit. <laughs> and we were to go forward. Uth has agreed to this? Yes. He said that if if you didn't believe us, he would come. He would he would he would come to you if we weren't to go. So since he's not here, we are able to go. What? Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you What are you saying? Why are you talking this way? Do you I just put my finger on his lips, like shh. <laughs> <laughs> Do. Do you take responsibility for anything, any dangerous thing that might happen to you if you continue this way? Well, we we didn't sign a waiver, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> Very well. And it, I'm sh it, the snake's <laughs> mouth opens, and it's like what do a, I see? A, and a passageway appears. Oh, wow! Well, how'd you do that? What what's what's this? Apparently had to agree to some legal mumble jumbo or something. <laughs> okay, let's go. We can't sue them if someone gets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I can't drag you. <laughs> All right, so. Um... Oh, this place is pretty. 
So this must be the garden he was talking about. Uh, luminescent flowers grow from the ceiling. There are strange ancient symbols carved into the walls. Uh, the ground is covered in skulls. Um, most of them look human, but there are a few. Uh, they're wide and violet and has three eye sockets and a mouth that's large enough to swallow somebody whole. Um, crunch, crunch. Uh, rectam and maniacal, you see uh, the shifting symbols on the wall. Um, for like when you first glanced at them, they just seem like strange symbols. But as you uh, as you look at them, even maniacal, who usually can't read, <laughs> yeah, rectam, I don't think you could read either. But for somehow you can, and it says, "The eternal avatar here guards." protecting both those above and below from famine, plague, war, death, and extinction. Um, yeah, it, it, somehow you just know that's what it says. That's a lot of skulls. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm not scared. I want to pick up and examine one of the three-eyed skulls because... My character is, you know, an alien and looks weird too. So, yeah, these things are you're huge. They're, oh, I can't just pick weird. it up. Okay. <clears throat> we don't um, see any like snakes on the ceiling or anything. No, <laughs> no, just I mean, there's flower, there's flowers growing from the ceiling. Uh, nice. And uh, uh -huh. there, there is a looks like an entrance or a, an exit from this room to the north mm -hmm. and then there's one to the east and there's what looks like a giant flower kind of along the the south wall like a covering up a whole section of the wall i'll go, go I'll look go, at the flower i'll go sniff the flower uh, um here Mont, you can't actually see the flower <sighs> It's oh. just a big. It's just a wall to you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go check out that flower. It looks it looks pretty. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah. So God. as you get close to the flower, it opens up. Uh, it's, it was like a. It was like closed, and it opens up, and it reveals like a passageway down into the Good Lord. <laughs> center of the flower. <laughs> like a pitcher plant. Yeah, uh, like, a pa like a passageway to walk in, like a tunnel, or yeah, like you, a. You have to kind of crawl a little bit, but it's definitely big enough to, for you to fit. Well, can I poke at it a little bit with my spear? The flower itself. Yeah. Yeah, it just sort of kind of goes. What do you think, Rectan? This is weird. <laughs> This is real weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, why are you guys talking about the wall like this? <laughs> I mean, I crawled out of a hole to get here, so I guess it won't hurt for me to crawl into a hole. <laughs> I guess I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so here, Matt, just like before, as soon as he starts, like, climbing into the flower, you can you can see a passageway. It doesn't look like a flower. It just looks like a, a small passageway. Um, oh, where are you going? I'm deflowering this wall. <laughs> So, so yeah, you you climb down this little passageway, uh, and you you come out into a room that's just like covered in these luminescent ferns. They cover the ground and the walls. Um, uh, but you can see, like it's really weird. There are dead snakes, uh, like they're. Uh, you, they're almost like you can almost see through them like they're ghostly and they're all piled up along the east wall uh, just like piles of these dead snakes 
our snake wrangler wasn't doing a very good job. Look at all these dead snakes. <laughs> I assume I don't see any of this again. Uh, are you following? Are you guys following him in down the passage? Yeah, I'll yeah. follow him. Yeah, 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 you see the ferns. Uh, you don't see the the dead snakes that he's talking about. I kind of yeah. poke at him with my spear again. What do you see now? There's like a bunch of ghost snakes here. It's really weird. Oh my gosh! We need to find some coffee. Maybe you should bless this place. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you call upon your god to get rid of this crazy shit? Sadly, my god has gone away. Wow. <laughs> He's out to lunch. He's taking a break. <laughs> um, maniacal, make a agility dr12 agility test as you come through the entrance. Mm. So, out of nowhere, a venomous adder strikes from one of the ferns. Uh, take D one D four damage. Oh, Ouch. are you still up? Yeah. So it not all these things are dead. It bites you, <laughs> and then it slithers off into the. Uh, the recesses of the room. I basically tell everybody not all the snakes are dead. Be careful. <laughs> there does seem to be like one particular point of the east wall where there are more dead snakes. Um, the Like twice as many snakes are piled up in that <sighs> one spot. I suggest using your sword to kind of beat the bush in front of you. <laughs> As you're going. Swing it around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like a machete cut down all the yeah. ferns. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you headed? Which way do you want to go, guys? Towards the more dead uh, snakes? Sure. Uh, <laughs> oh, out the, the exit here to the northeast? Yeah, I, I, I'm assuming we're telling... We're telling everybody that there's more dead snakes over here. <laughs> so the more, the dead snakes are all piled up. What did it say? The east wall? Um, yeah, so there's... Um, you can actually see that passageway. I think. Yeah, it looks like it, it joins with the other one. Well, I think if I had to guess from where we were before, yeah, this one goes down to the pit. Yeah. Oh, underneath. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You think that's probably that's probably just accurate. where we know where we're at walking. Mm, that doesn't <laughs> seem safe. Let's yeah. So the, the snakes are piled up uh, kind of around here. Um, so you can see the passageway, but that there's there's that oh. area that are piled up. So we can stroll on out. Yeah, yeah, you can. <coughs> Let's leave this place. Yeah, cautiously watch for that living snake. I'll stab its ass if I see it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you're going down that passageway. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. <coughs> uh, hold on just a second. It's an unknown passageway. We need to back out and go somewhere else. That's <laughs> I wonder if it's a misprint, because it's marked as a secret door, but it doesn't say what the door is. Um, so. <coughs> I, guess it, I guess you can open it. Um. <coughs> <laughs> 
Whoa. Yeah, so this looks like the dead root altar. Uh, so the walls, ground, and ceiling are covered in dead roots. Um, in the center, there's a group of roots that are standing up, and they are uh, car. They are shaped like an altar. Um, there are loose bits of dead wood, vaguely resembling humans, spread around the room. Um, it is dead silent in here. Um, oh, okay, I found it. You, the, you had to squeeze through a pair of roots on the south wall because it was mm. very tight at the end of that passageway. It was very tight. Um, Rectum and Maniacal, you see that the altar is surrounded by a golden glow. Uh, small budding leaves are spread around on all the roots, but the loose bit of wood are completely dead and barren. The altar reads, Without cost, no wish comes true. Make a pledge unwilling, and reality bends for you. Stay then silent. I want to walk up to the altar and, and make a pledge, but not just to myself, not out loud. And it's something I don't really want to do. Um... I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I promise to be nice to everybody. <laughs> uh, let's see what happens. Um, uh oh. Because <laughs> we need more reality bending things in this game. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no, nothing happens. <laughs> um, the roots the the roots on the altar just sort of maybe wiggle a little bit almost like they're asking for something i kick it and say this thing's broke and walk away <laughs> uh i'm gonna go over to the roots and um uh, i'll pour some some water out of my 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 water skin onto the roots be right back uh they don't see it doesn't seem to to do anything while while rectum's gone for a second not with it daydreaming i want to put him on the altar and sacrifice him <laughs> okay. Carl no. comes uh, back. We're sorry, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> we might need to wait for to see. Actually, we... I want I want to take my my non dominant hand and my and my knife and just cut it a little bit and squeeze some blood on the altar. Uh, yeah, that definitely makes it. It gets very agitated, like it, Ooh, and it, and it like things, sucks it in. This thing's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should go back and get one of the bodies. No, let's go back and get one of the brothers. <laughs> oh, what would you tell them? That there's like, some like really good story. cookies up here. Yeah, cookies. <laughs> They'll like cookies. We'll blindfold them and say we have a surprise for them. And that oh, was it Oof? 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 Oof told us to bring them here for a surprise. Surprise with with dessert. Yeah, <laughs> he made a special dessert. Do I have time to run and get one of those guys and blindfold them and bring them back? <laughs> yeah, you can you can sneak you can you can go back uh, go back the way you came uh, until the until the, yeah. Well, no, I don't actually. Yeah. No, you don't have to. You can. I want to go back to this main way. Yeah, yeah. Avoid the poisonous snake. <laughs> And, and blindfold him until Uth has a surprise for him for being a devout follower. <laughs> you actually get back to the snake pit uh, area, and there's a guy uh, that's just coming in there. He's like, Uth, Uth, where did you go? Where are hey, you? Hey, hey. Where, where, hey, man, where, have you seen I'm, Uth? We're about to have, yeah, like yeah. A, we're uh, about to have a, you know, a gathering, uh, you know? That's, yeah, that's yeah, cool, because Uth, Uth wanted the other us room. to get somebody. Yeah, yeah, he man. wanted us to get somebody, but it's a surprise. He said to blindfold and bring one of my followers here for a great surprise. Oh, man. That and, and don't sound look like... in the pit. <laughs> that doesn't sound like something Uth would have said, man. I don't know. Cookies. Uh, make a, he make, said you, make you, a we're going into, 
we're going into an area that's no that's not normally allowed, and so you can't see the grandeur of it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, no way, man. You're too weird, dude. I don't know. I, I don't think he would have had us go because he doesn't like us when he won't let us go past the garden, man. Oh, we went past the garden. It's cool oh. in there. Yeah, that's always, where he. Always can we kind of just like there, force but... him along a little bit? You know, no, no, come on, <laughs> come on, kind of. We went there. It was fine. There's nothing there. Uh, here, Matt, you can make a here, Matt can make a, a presence roll. See if you can convince him. Oh man, that that does sound cool. You sure Earth still uh, he's okay with it? He's not gonna be mad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he said. He said all his all his his brothers should join him there for dessert. Oh, okay. Well, should we go get the rest of the guys? Uh, well, he said. Uh, sorry, I forgot your name. <laughs> uh, George. George. George uh, <laughs> that's right. He said George should come first. Really? I didn't even think he knew my name, man. Well, I thought he said Jimmy, but. It could have been George. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Jimmy's pretty cool. He probably wanted Jimmy instead. So maybe I should go get him. <laughs> no, no, don't do no, because he's eventually going to show everybody. But you, you, you got to be first. Oh, all right, all right, man. Well, let's go. All right, come on. We'll we'll go. You, <sighs> you have to go through that dragon or that snake face thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't usually let us go there, man. That's why we got to blindfold you for some of this because he did say parts of it are secret and he doesn't want to show everybody yet. Blindfolding. Yeah, but it's it's nothing, not a big deal. I just take a piece of cloth and kind of wrap it around the sides. Come on, we'll guide you. All right, man. This is kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you take him back to the to the altar. Yeah, we sit him on like, here. No, you, you sit here for a second. You can go ahead and lay back. Are you gonna lay back cookies now? Yeah, relax for a second. Yeah, just a minute. Do you like uh, chocolate or or do you like? Are you one of those guys who likes a raisin oatmeal? I think, I think he likes you know red velvet, like the blood red velvet, and then stab him in the chest. So yeah, that's uh, that's an unwilling human sacrificed on the altar. Um, <laughs> he had no idea it was coming. We're in blindfold. Uh, okay, so yeah, you you must make a wish. Well, you succeeded in the the role, Jesse, so you can make the wish. <clears throat> I wish for more health points. <laughs> I wish I was much stronger. <laughs> I'm such a weakling. <laughs> what is that song? I wish I was a baller. I wish I was a is that, is, that what you're, is that what you're gonna wish for? Well, geez, I've got one hit point. I might as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So let's see. I did reverse it reality bending, but no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah. A uh, the so what exactly do you say? Oh shit! <laughs> Here's the legalese. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I I wish that I I could I could uh, I could survive, and <laughs> I wish I was I was more more sturdy and <laughs> healthier. <laughs> And didn't stink so much. <laughs> Your vitamin D deficiency goes away. <laughs> you smell like roses forever. So. All right. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. The GM is encouraged to find loopholes and possible complications. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Um, you, turn, you turn into a tree. Right? I want to be more robust. <laughs> yes, you're now a tree. 
<laughs> so no matter the wish, the sacrifice dies screaming as their soul is pulled from their body and into the altar. I All like that remains person. is the is a human shaped dead wood. Uh, so now roll a d6 to see what happens after a wish is made. <laughs> a three. The room fills with chaotic magical energy. All okay. scrolls of power shift. Test presence for each scroll someone carries. If the test fails, roll a random new power to replace the previous power. No further wish can be made for D10 days. All right, so yeah, I, I think I think I'm gonna give you a, what maybe a D let's go D8 hit points. So roll a D8 to see how many hit points you. Your max hit points increases. One. Right. <laughs> oh, that would be crazy. Oh, nice. Nice. So nice. have eight hit points. You got more than I do now. Maybe yeah. you need to be yeah, a front no, line no, I'll be the tank. It's like, uh, it's like Captain America, you know, from, uh, from yeah. the first Captain America movie. You know? <laughs> do I like, get a roll for my power, too, oh, he, on that? Uh, well, yeah. Um, we're probably going to all it soon so i'm not okay. sure if it's worth rolling all your powers because yours is okay. going to shift anyway yeah uh, yeah yeah mine does so <sighs> yeah some interesting things could have happened on that roll for sure the seasons <laughs> could have changed oh wow uh, time could have what? slowed down <laughs> well I'm, I'm seriously thinking about bringing some of these brotherhoods back one at a time continuing to do this now <laughs> It said that another is, well, you, you can just sense that, that a sacrifice can't be made for another 10 D10 10 days. Um, okay, well, we bring one well, back. Kill time to eat, camp out and <laughs> eat his body. We'll eat on his body for 10 days. <laughs> Go get another one. Uh, so there is a couple of uh, exits here. There is, no, actually, there's just the, there's just the one you haven't explored. Um, that one, yeah. Do you want to head that way? Sure. I'll take the lead because I'm feeling all yeah. fucked up now. <sighs> I'm feeling good. I'm feeling invincible. Take <laughs> <laughs> one d twenty damage. <laughs> so there is a branch here, and the uh, there's a path that goes kind of to the north. And then the uh, the path continues on to what looks to be a tomb of some sort. Do you want to take the north passageway or continue to the tomb? Well, I'm sure we go check out the tomb. Okay. What do we have here? Do, 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 do. It's another dirty mattress. Go lay down in the coffin. So at first you think that there's a cloud of moths that seem to fill the whole room, but but as you get closer, you realize they're just circling the room. They're just there's just a cloud of moths that's going around and around. Uh, mm. There is a ring of thirteen obelisks carved with endlessly spiraling snakes uh, that are uh, they're surrounding uh, what looks to be a lidless and empty sarcophagus. Um, you guys uh, can see. Hold on, let me move this here. Uh, inside this room, uh, so Hermot, that's pretty much all you see. But maniacal uh, and, <laughs> and rectum, you see a whirlwind of colors, most previously unknown and alien. The droning noise of hundreds of souls screaming in ultra slow motion fills the room. Wow. Tentacles of pulsing light grow from the sarcophagus towards the corridors leading back to the dead root altar. Um, yeah, just like pulsing light. And uh, what you thought originally was just more moths, you can now tell is, is a form like floating in, at the end of this room, and I will make visible. Um, Bad guy. So the, the yeah, sword. it's. Uh, let's see. Let me read about. 
So it's a, it's a form of a scraggy figure dressed in a green robe. And instead of skin, she's covered in multi, multicolored scales. And where her head should be is just black smoke and two bright diamond eyes. On her back is a shining greatsword longer than she is. And she's floating two feet off the ground. Uh, let me show you a picture of her. And we're we're the only two that can see this. No, her, here, Mike, you see this too. Okay, I was like, <laughs> yeah, floating. Wow. Um. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I, I tip my hat to her and say, "Good day, ma'am," and go the other way. <laughs> she uh, <laughs> she telepathically whispers to all of you, uh, and it's. It's it's it alternates between like a seductive whisper and like a horrible screech. <laughs> so she she says, "Did you make a wish? Did you pledge a sacrifice?" Uh, I guess so. Yes. yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Have you spent your wish? Uh. No, do you have a wish for me? <laughs> we wish for ten more wishes. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I can tell you how to make a wish. <clears throat> more, more wishing. Well, you know, kind of worked out well last time. Yeah, okay, sure. What, you, what do I need to do? You must bring someone and sacrifice them on the altar. What? Again? <laughs> yeah. I, what do, yeah, what okay, right cool. Here? We'll go do that. <laughs> yes. Are you just like an information booth? <laughs> uh, yeah, it kind of does kind of seem that way. <laughs> uh, you are here. <laughs> She's like the concierge. <laughs> You're she here. Would... Wishing on dead guy altar here. She would very much enjoy seeing the party make a wish and pledge at the altar and can instruct them how. Whispering seductive promises of individual gains to them if they just find an unwilling person to pledge. She didn't even need to. <laughs> like, this is assuming people wouldn't, the players wouldn't want to sacrifice somebody. You guys. <laughs> you can jump right into that. Um, hey. What's in the coffin? She, the, the coffin is actually empty. Uh, it's a little oh. less than empty. Um, What's it for? She says, uh, you can always make another wish. Uh, do you think, do all three of you, would, would any of you really be missed? <laughs> <laughs> well, one of us kind of zoned out for a while on the other two, and we thought about getting rid of one of us. But he came back and he snapped back to it. That's a great idea. Oh. Yeah. Well, think about it. I'll keep that in my back pocket. Hey guys, maybe we can go get Jimmy now. If you can help us get Jimmy. Seduce four of them. Well. <laughs> I like this lady. Yeah, like, you, Jimmy sucks. <laughs> would you like to join our party? You can get to see. So you go back to town with this floating <laughs> ghost <laughs> bath. Like, <you> <laughs> yeah, so I don't. It doesn't give any reason why she would fight you. So, like, you have. Kind of, basically no chance of beating her anyway so I know that's all we got bye <laughs> <laughs> yes bring Jimmy back I can help you I can help you to, I can help how you. often can we make wishes oh you can make wishes all the time <laughs> all the time it's kind of hard to tell if she's lying since she has no <laughs> face but <laughs> I don't get a good read on her <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go get Jimmy up these stairs or That's down the these wrong stairs. Way. Jimmy's back in the other, back there. <laughs> yeah, but we we gotta go prepare. <laughs> Very well. Come back when you're ready to make another wish. 
Okay. Can I have your sword? No. <laughs> I'd ask. Can, can we can we look at your sword? What if I wish for your sword? She mm. she hefts it out, and it you can see that it's. Uh, you realize that the sword is actually made of moonlight. Oh, that's cool. And it. Uh, oh, actually. Is that what it's talking about? The lunar Zweihander? Is the Zweihander a giant sword? Mm. Yeah. Sounds like this... the sword on Elder Ring. Oh, each hit fills the room with radiant light. Oh, okay. So, yeah. She's like, uh, would you like a demonstration? <laughs> no, thanks. Maybe on Jimmy later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bring Jimmy. <laughs> If we go back the other way through those other guys, we'll tell them that they all need to meet this lady. <laughs> Everyone stand by an obelisk. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you had if you had rolled a different one, maybe you could have made another wish. Oh, each one has different. Uh, so this one says no further wish can be made for D twelve months. Whoa. Uh, okay. Oh, this one, the altar cracks straight through, weakening the Swamp Witch to one hit point, making it possible to kill her. Oh, nice. Okay, so, yeah, so you just random, that's, that's the random table you rolled on after you made the wish. Um, yeah. All right, so do you want to go to 11? Yep. This, yeah, this one goes, goes to, to 11. 11! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's a spiral. Yeah, so a black pit with a narrow ledge circling it downwards and downwards and downwards. Mm. Um, oh, you actually, we you go about 30 feet and you kind of bump into an invisible magical barrier. Actually, it doesn't say it's invisible, but you bump into a magical barrier that blocks your way. Um, Finally, some safety measures. <laughs> yeah. So maniacal <laughs> and rectum, you see bubbles slowly rising from the pit, uh, and you almost hear what sounds like waves in the distance. Is this like the Willy Wonka cola room? The bubbles <laughs> coming out. Floating. Yeah, it just goes down deeper and deeper and deeper, but you can't you can't get past 30, 30 feet. So even if we like pound on the wall. <laughs> yeah. No. Apparently, you have to kill the swamp witch to go to go further. Well, that's not going to work. <laughs> but it doesn't. All it says is further down, great caverns open up, and somewhere deep are entire cities of these creatures. <laughs> so, Whoa! <laughs> shit! So you wouldn't have exactly lived happily ever after. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Well, you have fully explored the sepulcher of the swamp witch. Even though she still lives. Because <laughs> we don't know how to summon her. <laughs> we can't read. Yeah, yeah we <laughs> killed. We probably killed the person that knew how to read the thing. I, if I'm reading this right, the only way you can kill her is to make a wish, get a lucky roll. And then which, one hit point. Which would knock her down to one hit point. But even at one hit point, she has a D12 sword. <laughs> With uh, that does D four damage to everyone within fifty feet when it hits, so <laughs> she can easily take you out with one hit. So yeah, yeah, and you gotta you have what what is her? So she has one hit point, but does she have armor? She does an ethereal barrier of D four. Okay, um, like normally, yeah, I don't think you can even hurt her. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Or is that on on message for this game? Is just you get yeah. murdered by the oh, this game you're supposed to die in. Yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, it says as long as the dead root altar stands, the swamp witch does not die at zero hit point, but instead evaporates and reforms in the sarcophagus with full health three d six rounds later. <laughs> uh, wow. <coughs> Sneaks yeah, up on you. Oh, but if you do actually kill her, you, uh, the serpents disappear. Um, so there was one other thing you guys missed. Where was that? Uh, oh, there was this magical sword where those dead, those dead snakes were piled up. There was a two-handed <coughs> trident uh, surrounded by pan-demonic energy. 
that deals D10 regular plus D4 pandemonic. What is pandemonic <laughs> damage? Uh, <laughs> but that each living creature it slays gradually turns the wielder into a mad amphibian humanoid. <laughs> so after five wow. kills, people begin noticing your bulging eyes and your slimy sweat. <laughs> and then after D after eight kills, the wielder has a natural D2 armor due to their rubbery skin and croaks between their words. <laughs> at thirteen, so awesome. At thirteen, I, you're, oh. you you go crazy and you. Oh. An Jump into the water and you're gone. <laughs> yeah. uh... You are now Aquaman. <laughs> so you could have gone, found that, gone back and murdered all of those cultists, and you, you might have become an amphibian. Like happily ever after. <laughs> In the swamp. <laughs> In the swamp. That's right. That's funny. Yeah. Wow. There's nothing quite like uh, Mark Borg. Yeah, Man, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that splash zone never, bit was great. The splash zone was the best. Yeah. Part. I love the splash zone. <laughs> I'm a bleeder. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of to get him to yeah. take his armor off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that I think that yeah. armor not having armor helped, but that that lucky roll of your critical hit is what really yes. <laughs> really killed it. <laughs> Yeah, it's very. This game is very, very. very well, don't swingy. normally when you play this game, you re-roll characters pretty often. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If one of you had died, I was gonna give you one of the cultists. As like suddenly you woke up and said, "Hey, wait." <laughs> it's, it's yeah. weird. Dude. I'm not high anymore, man. <laughs> yeah. Where's that snake? Bite me again. <laughs> hey, funny. you had to take damage when you got bit by the first snake, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I w- which I would have killed you. That's I would have died. It would have been it. As soon as you got buffed, that's what you should have done. You should have gone immediately to the right there and said, "Bite me, bite me!" I can take the drugs now, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I want to see the pretty stuff. <laughs> Peer pressure. <laughs> Everybody's <Yeah>. doing it. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. That was fun. That yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Hopefully Chris will be back next week. We can return to, to our regularly scheduled game. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining us. Yes. Cool. We'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>